All right, how's it going, everybody? My name is Drew Brees, and welcome to Teardown. Now, I am so sad because I recorded a very, very good episode of Teardown already, and then the recording software just simply not decided for some reason to, 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 to just freeze frame. So I sat there and talked to my computer for 45 minutes with a still image of this loading screen here. But we are here nevertheless, and we are looking at the campaign today and going to start that. It is going to be super awkward because I completed some of the missions already, and I am actually like moving on up there in the campaign. But we're going to start over, even though I can't really start over in game. So we're just going to pretend like you guys have not seen me be level seven in this game already. And we are going to get started. So here we are in our little house, which you have definitely not seen. So let's get the frig out of here. And under normal circumstances, I think it's out here, isn't it? Or is it th this the other way? I think the bus, yep, there. All right, we have to open this. I always forget that. There we go. So the bus dropped us off over there. La, 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 la. We are running. Oh, look at this. I think this is our house. I'm not too sure, but I think this is where we live. The locale teardown services definitely sound like a place that we want to be. Oh, this is such an interesting, exciting world that I have never seen before, you know? Oh, my God. Look at this. We can smash everything. How exciting this is. Let's just get in here. This is cringe. <laughs> so, yeah, as I was saying, I sadly kind of lost track of everything here because it was just not showing anything except for a still image. So we're going to have to live with that. But 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 now at least it's running. So that's a good thing. Uh, let's turn off the t get out of here. Well, what do we have on the menu today? We, uh, we, we have a bunch of missions here. As you can see, these three are done already. So this one is old building problem. Here we have to do a favor and blah, 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 blah. We're not going to do too much about that, but oh, wow, look at this. It's a computer. I wonder if we have any missions on this com computer. This, oh, jeez, I'm sorry that I have to do this too. This is going to be, you guys are going to quit this video simply because we're of me being being who I am. <laughs> but Tracy, Tracy messaged us. Tracy is our mother, and she can clearly see there. So the gas bill just dropped on the floor. Honestly, I'm not sure if we can make it through the month. Are you getting any requests? At this point, we pretty much have to accept anything. Be creative. So we need money. Mom needs to pay her bills. How do we do that? Well, good thing that we just got a teardown problem here that we have to fix. So Gordon Wu wants to order us. He's the general manager at the Evertides Mall. I have a slight problem with a building in the what? With an old building that's blocking our planes for a new wing and I'd need someone to knock it over. Very, very nice. I need to come by tomorrow and I'd be willing to pay more than the standard rate for some extra discretion, quick execution and uncomfortable work hours. Would you be able to take care of it? Well, Gordon Wu, as a matter of fact, I will. Let's go over to the Evertides Mall. There we go. Replay mission or play mission, but we already kind of did that one time so it is what it is oh look at this an exciting new world i gotta stop doing this i've seen it before stop pretending that you haven't okay but we have to tear down this house this is what this game is about for those of you that don't know the game already i am sure you do because if you're anything like me then you have been following this game for the past couple of years of progression i think it was it 2017 or something when we first saw this game on twitter where the devs kind of posted just this short link of a little voxel based game where he took down pretty much anything in the world and ever since I've been completely sold and I know a lot of other people have as well so it is nothing short of amazing to sit here and actually play this game today. At the moment I am throwing in some propane tanks into this house because we have to tear it down 6.3 meters too tall is the house right now. These are propane tanks they can do things like this bam and okay and explode so oh okay yeah i don't think we want to do that it's right click not left click and you know we can just sneak in a bunch of these and drop them right there now we did actually make a nice hole here i just want to see if we can keep hammering this for a bit and make a hole here what if we then take this because now we made a nice stack of propane tanks here oh god okay that worked yeah, I'd say that worked decently. But the funny things are over here, because just as the house can be taken down, then pretty much everything else can be taken down as well. Just some more propane tanks. I wonder if you can throw them all the way over there. It's going. Oh, I actually think we threw it too far. Let's try that again. That was actually funny. Oh, nice. Straight on the chimney. Oh, oh. Good. Okay, so what if we just run over here and run, 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 run. Stop getting caught on this. That works too. What about these? I wonder, can we scoop these up so we can drive these things? We can actually use the shovel here, as you can see. 
so I'm just kind of questioning whether we can scoop up some of these propane tanks and drive along with them. Because that would be kind of cool, wouldn't it? Oh, well, I guess not really. That wasn't really a great success. What if we take this? Oh, even better. Look, so we can drive this as well. As I was saying, we can drive this as well. And just lower the shovel here as well. And then we can stack the propane tanks into here, I think. Stay. Good. No, I not No! And you there. Can we just shove you in there a bit better? Yes, we can. Perfect. So now, we just gotta scoop these up. And go to the street. Oh! I'm just gonna redo that. I'm fine with that. We kind of did loose in there. I think I should just probably be happy that they did not explode. This is great. I'm loving it already. Stay. Good. Hide explosive. Yep, we know. Just don't drop them this time. Maybe we should not go over that hill. What if we just don't do that? Oh, there's some mistake over there. Slowly. Slowly. Not so slowly. Oh! We lost our sh <laughs> We lost our shovel. Well, I mean, there are many ways to take down this house. And I guess if the propane tanks won't do it, we can do better. Where, where is, we need this, we need this. Oh, whoops, took down a bit of their building. Collateral damage is what I like to call it. So as we're moving over here, I, I, I need a plan here. I need a plan of execution. I think if we just, yeah, this works. And then up a bit and, and, and down a bit with it. Oh no, we're stuck on the other machine, I think. Use your extinguisher to put out fires. I don't want to put out fires. I think it's helping. So, I mean, if we just keep it on fire, then hopefully that thing is going to take down this building if I'm not going to do it first. This is a bit of a slow progress at the moment, but we are getting there. Chimney, I can't tell. Did we disconnect the chimney over here? I think we did. Definitely. Oops, sorry about that. Why is this grass so wobbly? This thing can tear down a house, but this grass is literally making this thing undrivable pretty much. Some things don't add up here. Some things don't add up. There we go. Perfect. And now, oh my god, we really set this house on fire. We should be able to. Is this the last of it? Come on, you gotta think. Oh, and look, there it goes. Oh, we, we kind of, I think it got stuck again. There. We might have to move the other digger over here, so. There. We did kind of set the house on fire. I don't think we were supposed to. But I mean, if it gets a job done, then I am not going to complain. There we go. Perfect. That was easy. Oh, I'm stuck in this thing now. Get out of it. And stuck in the fire. So let's get away. Let's go to... Th this This is teardown. <laughs> oh my god, Streamlabs. Why did you have to fail on me? I mean, that was just... That was just not the same genuine wholesome experience that I would have given my audience otherwise. <laughs> Oh, oh, you're back here already. Okay, well, that was great. I hope you guys enjoyed that just as much as I did. So now, imagine that we've never, never done this before. Well, then Tracy just sent us an email. Oh, what a morning. Shouldn't have taken that job. I knew something wasn't right. That building was under cultural heritage protection and the demolition is now a part of a criminal investigation. Mrs. Turdy Man at the police just sent me this photo. They must have caught you on the traffic camera heading towards the mall. The very last thing we need right now is an investigation. I tried sweet talking her and she thought she could get the case dropped, but she did ask for a favor in return. I don't know what she wants, but just do it. She'll email you directly. So here is Parisa Purdy Man. Just so you know, I usually don't do this, but I am stuck on a case and I feel like I should try something new. I've been investigating Lawrence Lee Jr. over tax evasion for months now, but he has so many friends in town that I can't get a warrant. How about you use your skills to borrow the computer is over at Lee Chemicals so that I can finally assess this computer registry and sort this mess out. If you do this for me, I'll make sure your little blunder will be forgotten. All right, so we just have to steal three computers and bam, we are out of any kind of legal trouble. That sounds like a fair trade in my ears. So let's take it. So we are at Lee's Chemicals, and this is actually the very first area that I personally saw back when I when I when I saw this game the first time, and it is just beautiful. Oh, there's a. So I'm. I am so sorry about that. No, I'm not there. Wait. 
<laughs> I, I gotta be honest, I actually forgot what we have to do here. Let's just see. We have to steal three computers, right? And there's one there, one there, one there. I don't think we have to worry too much about any sort of alarm systems or anything right now. The only thing we can really get called by is a fire alarm and large fires will trigger that fire alarm. So I'm just gonna, you know, I guess no one is gonna notice if we just... Nope, that's fine. So that was one computer, that was rather easy. Now there was one over here as well, right there. And since this is teardown, I mean, who can ever be bothered to go through a front door when we can't just smash a car through it? Hello? Oh, no, it said something. So, what is up here? Hello? Computers? Don't erase. Attic is off limits for all employees. I did it anyways. That's some nice wall insulation you got going there. Grab valuable. Oh, so we can also steal images, pictures, sorry. Wall paintings, images, wow. Talk about not being a native English speaker. Uh, cringe. There we go, perfect. We only have one more computer left and it's over there. So, I would like to get over there, hello? Get me out of here. Oh, there's a window. I think we can actually go through that one. I am absolutely loving the sound effects in this game. It is so great that you can just hear things fall on the ground and all sorts of stuff. So many nice details to this game and everything can be destroyed, which is just so dope. And I don't know if you guys saw this actually, but there's been some news about this game featuring... Featuring modding, which should be quite easy and pretty much any voxel based mod can actually be imported into this game. And you can destroy that. So if you want, you can build a full-size Falcon 9. I'm just saying that because I saw that from one of the devs posting it. Not a Falcon 9, what am I talking about? A Millennium Falcon is what I'm trying to say. Also, we just have to smash this through here. I think that's the easiest way to get up there. A full-size Millennium Falcon and you can just destroy it. Piece by piece. This game has so much potential. I'm absolutely loving it. I don't know if you can hear the excitement. I don't even know where to go off from. Why are you shining? Oh, we can steal that. Nice. Oops. What did I just do? So lesson learned from small propane tank into big propane tank goes a big boom and then you die. So let's not do that again. That was stupid. I thought I could just punch a hole in the wall there and make a nice explosion for you guys. You'd be like, oh, wow, tree burgers. That was a nice explosion. But I guess that was a dumb idea. Now I'm kind of, you know, wanting to try that again. Oh, run away. Did we do it? It's still there. Oh well. That's just the way it's gonna have to be then. And just smash. No, get up there. Awesome. There we go. So we got the computer. Now we just have to get the other two again. And here's the last computer once again. So let's go ahead and just destroy these boxes because we can and then move over to the shelf and give it a good whack and these boxes as well. And this window and this wall and this door and this chair and this couch and take the computer and run. Perfect. So that was, I think, the second mission done. Yep, that was indeed the second mission done. And this is actually somewhat where I made it to last time. There is one more mission that I did, but that was also the last mission that I finished. Good news is, though, that this is sort of where Teardown truly begins with the login devices, because now there will actually be stakes at hand here. We have to go back to Lee computers one more, or Lee chemicals rather, and grab those login devices because she needs those to access the computers. But in the meantime, they have gotten alarms though. Let's head over there and see what it's all about. So this time we have to be just a little bit more careful than what we were last time. Can we jump the fence here? Do we have to go somewhere else? I think we actually have to go somewhere else. But what is happening now is that we have to steal those three login computers. They are in new locations. And this time we have to be just ever so slightly more careful because now, these are hooked up to an alarm system. So as soon as we pick up the first login box, well, then the alarm will be triggered and the police will be called. And then we have 60 seconds to finish the job and get out of there. Otherwise, we are screwed. We have to plan our route. Now, I want to start with this one and then grab that one and finish off with this one. The thing is that we have to create a nice path that we can use from there to there and there to there. So that's what we want to do before we do this. And actually, I can see the last path that I have done here, which is quite nice. That is actually quite cool that we can do that. So as you can see, we ran over here. I struggled a lot there. I struggled a lot there. I struggled a lot there. And I struggled a lot there. So I was actually quite bad at it, to be very honest with you. So we can 
definitely improve our route. So let's start out by hitting in here and see what we have to work with. All right, so we made it into the other side. Now, the first alarm thingy is over here inside of this building. So obviously the easiest thing is to just get inside of this building and uh, we are in. Perfect. Maybe just get in there just a little bit more. Something like this. Did I? Just... Nope, I think we're good. Yeah, we, sh we should be fine, really. So the thing is, I don't want to tear down that pipe up there too much. So maybe we can just get this one down a bit. Oh, and I might also have gotten myself just a bit stuck here. Which is actually not too good. <laughs> oh, no. If we just wiggle the wheels a bit. Oh, there we go. Oh, get this one down so we don't tear down the pipe thing. Actually, you know what? What about now? If we just... I think this could actually potentially be quite good. Where is that first one again? I think it's... A, oh, yeah, there it is. Okay, cool. So, I just need you to go away. And you as well. And then if we grab this thing... Actually, actually, we put you here. We put that here. Is this now a plateau that I can jump from? Yes, it is. Good. And then over here, steal that. And then we can run down here. And maybe, nope, we cannot climb this. So maybe if we just lower it a bit. I don't know if that's enough. No! It is enough. I believe, yes, it is. Look at that. And then we can jump down here and knock down this wall. That's just knock all of it down. Oops. Knock all of it down so that we are sure to get in here. Perfect. What is this? I don't need this. And then, what we have to do next is get over here. So just knock this down now. Perfect. Do we have something in here that's... Oh, wait. Hold up a minute. Get out of here. Can I knock you down? No, I can. Oh. Not sure. Look at that. So, this one we can knock down. Oh no, I needed that bit. I guess we can actually do it without. So what I'm thinking here, can we like create a bridge? What if you just... Oh, you're definitely not gonna stay there, no. Nope. Are you gonna stay over here? No, you're absolutely not gonna stay there either. What if I just spin you around a bit? Sit down! Stay there! Why does nothing want to... That doesn't really help us, though. Nope. What if we just fill this up with random stuff? Oh, look. We did it. Nice. <laughs> Can we, like, make this just a bit better? Oh, no. Stop rolling. Darn it. I'll fold it. Yeah, no, that's not really working as intended. Maybe I should have just stuck with that. Other. Wait a minute. What if we... Just disconnect this. Get out of here. Oh, yes, this is good. So, and then this. And I gotta be ready to catch it. So here we go. We made a bridge. I just need my... Oh no, my bridge to fall over there. And then I have to lift it down here first. Oh, what's your look at that? This is very good. I don't need those. And there we go. So now we can jump. Do I need some weight on here? Get out of here. Perfect. Not willing to work with me, then I don't need you. So then we weight this down just a bit and we. We put like a jerry can there. And then that's a perfect step. And we have the route over to the next one. Let's just get the spray can out here. Because otherwise I'm going to stress in the middle of this. And I have no idea where to go. I love it how we can just throw these smack these into the wall. And then they just die. That's great. Oh god no. That's not what I was supposed to do. But we have to go through here and then there. And then we run over the roof here. Let's just get back for now. Oh, and then we also need something to smash through the gate once we are done, which we could actually just use this one. So... If we put that there, 
then that should be all right. We have a spray can now, so we know which way to go. This is going to be very good. This is going to be so good, actually. You have to go that way, but we know that already. Jump up onto this. Jump here. Go. So we go there. We jump down here. We go here. And we jump up here. That's going to be a bit of a pain, but I think we can do it. And then down here, we have to go in here. And let's just... That way, in here. That way, because I completely forgot where I had to go last time. So we're just going to make a big fat arrow here. And then you got to go this way. What are these arrows that I'm making? They are actually so ugly. Run this way, run this way, run this way. Where's the last one? Oh, it's over by that one. So we have to go down, down to here. There. In here, up, and then this way, up here. Ooh, and there it is. Perfect. So we only need one one thing right now. And I also need to get rid of this. Perfect. And I need to make a little hole in this. Stop that. Let go. Awesome. And we have a nice hole here that we can use to run out of here and go and jump into the truck Whoop! and drive this thing. And I think we are ready to go. Awesome. All righty. So now we go back over here and don't forget that the timer does not start until we are actually picking up the first item there. So we just want to get into position here. And I got to remember that once I get down here, this one is a bit tricky. So we have to maybe just focus there a bit. Well, I think we are ready to do this. So let's go. Three, two, one. Quick save. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. And the alarms are off. Oh no, we failed this one. We are ready to... See, I told you I would get stuck here. Didn't I tell you? There we go. All right, so I'm not stuck anymore. So we're going to run up here now. I just fell down here. That's very bad, but luckily we kind of saved it. So we pick up this one. Use our beautiful bridge that we made here. Those alarms are absolutely terrifying. Jump down here. Perfect. Stuck the landing out here, up here, in here. Where is the thing? There it is. Awesome. Down again. Down through here. Jump. And drive. And I think the truck is stuck. No, it's not. It finally got out and smashed it through the gate. And stop and escape and go. And we did it. Nice. All right. So let's see this time. We again, we kind of messed up a bit here. We messed up quite a lot, as you can clearly see from the jumping. We would have had a lot of time left if we didn't mess up here. Oh, this that's actually painful to watch. The rest of it was 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 pretty neat. We did fall down here, which I did not intend for, but it actually worked out quite all right. And then the rest of the path was was rather beautiful. <laughs> Loving the little loop we just made there. Oh, and jump down up and pick the last one down again. Jump out to the truck. And that was Besides the fact that we kind of failed a little bit at the beginning, that was a rather clean run. And we're back at the house now, and we are, I think we're actually in the news. We are in the news. I'm actually absolutely loving the fact that they're, I think they're speaking like Swedish and Norwegian in here, which is rather funny. We, that, that, that was us. We did that. Hooray. <laughs> back onto the computer here. And this is actually where we made it to, and I haven't made any more. So I am going to end the video here, and that is the first three missions of Teardown, a beautiful new game that just became available on Steam today. Very excited to have it available finally. If you guys enjoyed Teardown, please leave some feedback back down in the comments and smash the like button on this video if you enjoyed it. Until next time, stay safe. Bye-bye.